Now, we're still in the general West African region. Let's head over to Ghana. The depreciation of the SETI against foreign currencies is taking quite the toll on businesses. The local currency over there is weakened by 11% against the American dollar, and that was just in 2018. Here's CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai with more. Owusu Efriye sells car parts at this retail hub in Accra. He relies on imports from Europe and China, but Owusu says a percentage plunge in the value of Ghana's city against the U.S. dollar in 2018 means the goods he buys are now much more expensive. The dollar, no? the dollar is used to calculate taxes on our imports. So when the city depreciates against the dollar, it increases our cost of doing business. Owusu and other dealers say they are forced to pass those higher costs on to customers. Car pass dealers have been charging higher prices since January, but they say business has been slow as a result, with many consumers no longer able to afford their products. The value of the city against the dollar hits all-time low this month. It comes despite government efforts in recent years to stem the decline by imposing foreign exchange restrictions and making it easier for companies to repatriate their export proceeds. The Bank of Ghana is plowing $800 million into stabilizing the country's currency, but some economists say the government needs to focus on long-term changes instead, such as reining in public spending, boosting productivity, and addressing Ghana's trade and budget deficits. If we don't fix the economy in terms of our long-term you know, policies, to tackle the fundamentals of the economy, pumping $800 million will still get us back to, you know, depreciation of the city. Um, what we have to do is let's get our economy to be export-driven and not import-driven. Ousu agrees. He, like many others affected by the weak city, says his business will continue to suffer unless steps are taken to bolster the country's overall economic fortunes. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.